Hey guys, it's April. I just wanted to show you guys how this card goes together. Happy Memorial Day to all of you. Um, you're going to need some ribbon. And I am using, this is just from the Dollar Tree, uh, 5 eighths inch uh, for this card. Oops. And I have already put my Nuvo Drops on here. For, well, if I can get that out of there. I'm having a hard time picking things up. Uh, I've already put my Nuvo Drops on my Happy Birthday tag. Um, super fun and easy. So, first thing we're going to do is fold on all of our score lines. Okay, just going to fold those out. And I know I got a score line in there. I can see it today. There it is. It's on the other side of the card. There we go. Just fold that one. And then two little tabs. I have one here. Or three tabs, I should say. One here. And one here. This is a really quick, fast card. Um, this is your insert card, and you can tape or tape your gift card to the back of it if you want to use a gift card. Now, let's see. With it folded this way, I am going to place... It doesn't really matter. I think it's only going to fit one way. I'm going to put that patterned piece of paper on and line it up actually yes gotta put this on first okay this piece I'm gonna hold off on that piece until last okay so now we have that we're gonna get a couple of little pieces of ribbon you don't need much Honestly, you really don't. Maybe a, this one's like four inches. This one's like 2.75, three inches, something like that. And you're just going to run it through just like that. Okay? Super easy. Now I'm using um, adhesive dots. These are the ultra clears. It doesn't really matter for this application. I'm just going to put a piece on each side of the ribbon. Okay, and peel off that release liner on both ends. And then we're just going to wrap that. Just wrap it right in there, okay? How easy was that? Now you're going to take this one, and you're going to go in that same hole, and then the bottom hole. Okay, so it should be laying just like that. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. Place a glue dot on one end and then the other. And peel those release liners. I'm just going to peel that first one and I'm just going to place it, just let it fall like it wants. You want it to lay even in that opening okay you don't want it to to be crinkled up and then this one is going to do the same thing see if you do it like this you've got a gap you don't want that gap you want that piece to lay flat okay so just let it fall where it wants to fall don't try to force it to go somewhere else and just fold it over just keeping it again flat here and then to hide all of that we're just going to put our glue right here on that. We're just going to fold it right over. Ta-da! Super easy. 
All right, now we're going to, yes, put our glue on these three tabs. And I'm just gonna start with the inside one. Oops, we're just gonna bring those in. Bring those in and, and press them down. All right. How easy was that? All right. This card goes right to the inside. And then you can close that down. We're going to work on this piece. And here's where it gets a little tricky, but you can do this. It's going to lay in there, okay? But we want this piece of ribbon. I'm going to grab another piece. I probably cut that too long and we're going to put our dots on each end and I'm only going to do one end at a time because I'm probably I got that a little long so I'm going to cut it off I know I am so I'm just going to peel that release liner all right and I want to pretend that my card piece is on there exactly where I want it and I'm going to fold this down so I want this to come down right there so i'm just sticking it with part of that tail up above okay then i'm going to grab my piece and oops part of my glue dot went on there there we go and we're just going to fold that over and you can add another glue dot on that side if you want to just to help hold that ribbon i probably should have put it a little bit further down but that's okay because this ribbon ravels pretty easily i'm just going to grab another dot put over it just to hold it down those liners have so much static electricity in it they don't want to let go and let's see I didn't get it on there straight I'm going to pull that off opportunity to fix it okay there we go I'm going to pull it off Give myself a little bit more room down there and then you're going to you want that to be smooth there okay just want it to be smooth against this edge you don't want to crinkle it up remember and then i'm just going to do another glue dot on the back of it i'm just going to put that on the card down at the bottom there that way I can trim this off. Just gonna stick it and then trim off that excess. All right, so now we have that piece on there. And now you can glue this right to the front. So bring that in place it down. Now you could put a glue dot in there if you want to. I did it on this one and I wasn't happy with the way that it it showed, but if it bothers you, then by all means. And I got mine off to the side just a little bit. Oops. Before it gets dry, I'm going to move it. That one's move it over. That's better. All right. I just had to move that over just a little bit. Check yours before you put your glue on there. Another second and I wouldn't have got that off up there. There we go. I'm still off a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to live with it. Just make sure that yours is over far enough. It probably looks fine. Maybe it's an optical illusion the way I'm looking at it. Because now it looks perfectly fine. Okay, so the top. And all I did, you could do your bow any way that you want to do it. And just do a little rabbit ear bow. It doesn't need to be very big. That looks good. Just gonna trim that off. And you can trim it off 
either way that you want. Dovetail it. Oops. However you want to do it. However long that you want them. All of that. That's totally up to you. I'm going to go in. I think I'm going to go differently on this one. I like that better. And then I am going to glue dot that down. I think I want it to go that way. So you could place that right up on there like you want. And then I'm just going to put a little glue on the bottom of my tag. You can pop dot this up if you want to. And I'm just going to stick it right in there. Super simple and easy. It was an optical illusion because when I look at it like this, it's fine. Super fun, simple, and easy. And then you have your little message card all right guys i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions or you need some help please don't hesitate to ask happy memorial day and happy crafting i'll catch you on the next video